Okay, so I'm, I'm going to share with you a little bit of what I think God has revealed to me. And, and uh, when I say that, I, I'm not going to start an hour-long sermon. I'm not. I'm going to do this really quickly. We've got six slides we're going to get through. Okay. I didn't tell anybody, so it's all right. Uh, I'm, I'm going to share. All right, so this is what I believe has been an issue for us. And I say us because we are all responsible for how we conduct ourselves inside the house of God. That includes me. I'm going to be honest. Sometimes you guys made me mad, and I told you how I felt, and I shouldn't have done that, so I apologize for that. But in response to that, sometimes some of you guys said some things that I also think weren't necessarily beneficial to the house of God, so we'll have to, we'll have to correct ourselves. And I think this is the issue, so I'm going to share this with you. You don't have to agree with me, and then we're going to move on as fast as we can to the business meeting. When I came here, this church had a very healthy core group, very healthy, of members that had been together for 40 plus years. And in those 40 plus years, when they came to a business meeting, they already knew what they were going to do, and they would vote, and they would not have the disagreements that I think we've had in the last five years. But I think the difference is, in the last five years, we have some people here that have not been here for 40 plus years, have not been alive for 40 plus years, and have not been faithfully attending a church anywhere for 40 plus years. I'm going to pick on Kayla. Kayla, before you began attending New Colony Baptist Church, where were you attending church regularly? Okay. Now I'm going to pick on Hannah because she's here. Not you, Hannah. The other Hannah. <laughs> Hannah, before you started to attend church here, where were you attending church regularly? Uh, Cross Street Calvary Church. And you went every Sunday? Oh, she said yes. Okay, so never mind. She got, got me off guard there. All right. <laughs> Woo! I'm sorry, Hannah. I was picking on the wrong person. All right. So, uh, I'm sorry. Rocky's pointing at, at Kylie. Do you want to say something, Kylie? All right. So, before you were attending church faithfully here at New Colony Baptist Church, where were you attending faithfully? Nowhere for several years. Okay, so we have some members here in the church. Hannah's has recently been baptized. Kylie has recently joined the church. Brandon has recently joined the church. Kayla has recently joined the church. Rocky's recently joined the church. We have several members in this congregation that have not been here for 40 plus years. So those people don't know what I'm, I don't want to pick on anybody. Miss Brenda, how long have you been here? They don't know what Miss Brenda knows because she's been here for a long time. Miss Peggy, can I ask? How many years in attendance here? 55 years. So they don't know. So what we have to do is we have to bridge that divide, and we have to do so in such a way that brings glory to God and does not cause division within the church. So I wanted to talk about that tonight because there are several things on the business meeting agenda, and if we default to our old ways, we're just going to have an argument. And I don't want to argue. I don't. I want everybody to feel free to share and express their opinion, then have a seat, when everybody's done expressing their opinion, we will vote, and then the body of the church will move forward together in unity. Amen? Amen. We can all agree to do that? I got like a couple of yeses. I was thinking everybody would go yes, but okay. All right. So now here's the bad thing. Like, um, I was told that Hannah and Zahn were going to be here at church tonight. I'm like, woohoo! Hannah and Zahn are going to be here. I'm like, oh, they're coming to a business meeting. <laughs> I really like, I would like, I would like for them to see Jesus in us. I really would. So when we go through tonight's business meeting, I just would like for all of us to remember that. Like, I, I know that we're not always going to agree, but I also know that we can disagree and still be friendly. Amen? Amen. We can be kind. So the, the first slide was why we argue. <laughs> Scripture answers that question for us. Okay. James chapter 4, verse 1. Where do wars and fights come from among you? Do they not come from your desire for pleasure? For what? I said it's a war. For what? I'm for that war in your members. I'm sorry. I'm going to read that again. Where do wars and fights come from among you? Do they not come from your desires for pleasures that war in your members? Point number one. We fight because we want what we want. Your own personal desires cause disagreements. What's the problem with that? Well, if we're looking at Scripture, we're going to continue on. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12. We do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers of darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in heavenly places. What's the problem with wanting what we want and fighting with each other? Point number two. You will never win a spiritual war if you're fighting in the flesh. You won't. 
So if you think that I'm the problem, the devil has deceived you because I promise you I am not your problem. I'm not. I might not agree with you, but I'm not your problem. I got to be honest. When I go home at night, I pray for each and every one of you, each and every one of you. And I, and I lift you up and I pray for wisdom and I pray that God will allow us to continue to do great things in this community for his glory. So what do we do if we're involved in a physical fight and the wars in the spiritual realm? You lose. So you lose if we're fighting with each other because our enemy is not flesh and blood. It's spiritual. So what do we do? In turn, 1 Corinthians 10:31. Therefore, whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. If you can't get up here and share your opinion to the glory of God, stay seated. If you think you have to say a crossword to somebody in this sanctuary, you're wrong. Nobody in this sanctuary is your enemy. As Christians, we war against the devil in a spiritual battle that you can't win slinging words in the flesh. So, shall we pray? Dear Heavenly Father, thank you, dear Lord, for giving us an opportunity to open your word, to, to study those verses, dear God. And I pray, dear Lord, that you would just be with us tonight. You would guide us. You would direct us. You would allow us, dear Lord, to do great things in this community for your glory. And that you would allow us to do so, dear Lord, encouraging and lifting each other up instead of tearing each other down. Amen.